The Greek god Atlas has been holding up the globe all these years. Poor thing. Oh, but to physicists, he has not done a single bit of work. If I want to impart energy to an object, I exert a force on it. We call this the work done by the force on the object. If the work is positive, I inject energy to the object. If the work is negative, I withdraw energy from it. The exact amount of energy transaction, or the amount of work done, can be calculated using the formula W equals to F D cos theta. F is the magnitude of the force exerted on the object. D is the distance traveled by the object during the time when the force is exerted on the object. Theta is the angle between F and D. This formulation of work has a few interesting implications. If the force and displacement are in the same direction, work done is simply F times D. If the force and the displacement are in opposite directions, then work done is simply negative F times D. If the object stays put, then work done is zero no matter how big the force is. If the force is perpendicular to displacement, then work done is zero. Let's now check out these four weight lifters. See if you can apply F D cos theta to each case to find out the work done on the barbell. See whether the formulation makes sense, in the sense that it matches your observation of whether the barbell's energy increases, decreases, or remains the same. Ready? For this case, the formulation says that work done is positive because force and displacement are in the same direction. This should sound reasonable to everyone because the barbell has clearly gained GPE. In this case, work done is negative because force and displacement are in opposite directions. This makes sense since the barbell has clearly lost GPE. Another way to see that work done is negative is this. If not for this upward force, the barbell would have been free falling and would have been accumulating KE on the way down. This is the case for zero work done because the displacement is zero. Despite the effort of the poor chap, the barbell has neither gained nor lost energy. This is the exact same situation as a barbell resting on the floor. The upward contact force of the floor does zero work on the barbell. This is the case for zero work done because the force is perpendicular to the displacement. This should make sense once you realize the barbell is moving horizontally at a constant speed. So the barbell's KE and GPE are both constant. This is the exact same situation as a barbell rolling at constant speed along the floor. The upward force exerted by the floor on the barbell does zero work on the barbell. Personally, I remember the formula for work done by a force on an object as distance times the force's component in the direction of the displacement. The component of the force perpendicular to the displacement of the object does zero work. So we only need to consider work done by the component of the force in the direction of the displacement of the object. Papa, I get it. If you want to accomplish any work, you must go the distance. Yes, and make sure you are pushing in the right direction. <laughs>